hypothetical theoretical suspended monorail train within the cab, elevator pod design. Major cities have no space left at ground level for new public transport and rail subway systems are very expensive. A hypothetical suspended monorail cab design, suitable for passenger pickup set down from street level, using the same suspended monorail as 500 passenger capacity suspended trains. This theoretical elevator pod suspended monorail train with only 50 people capacity can pick up and set down from street level, four people at a time or two people in one wheelchair. This theoretical elevator pod and its suspended monorail is like a flying bus. The loss of rail car passenger capacity is due to the counterweight in systems for the elevator pod. So this hypothetical theoretical suspended monorail car with its elevator pod needs no elevated passenger train platforms. A driver is recommended for this type of theoretical suspended monorail car with its elevator pod. For the best passenger safety, the elevator pod should be aircraft aluminium construction with laminated tempered glass with telescopic doors. The suspension monorail elevator pod car platform deck with the train driver riding in the pod. This suspension monorail is more like a bus, not needing elevated railway stations, keeping street space clear. The weight and size of an elevator hanging counterweight cannot be used on a suspension train. So hydraulic counterweight system is on the roof of the monorail car. You say compressed air pistons and springs. The elevator pod deck moves passengers from the ground to the body of the monorail car. Passengers then move from the elevator pod to their seats. Elevator doors protect riders from falling out of the train. The train driver rides in the pod so passengers can be seen at the door as with a passenger bus so the train driver can help with wheelchair access if needed a driver is recommended for this type of theoretical suspended monorail car with its elevator pod